If you love climbing up the mountains, hiking through the valleys, like and subscribe. If you love catching stuff with magnets, detecting metal fragments, like and subscribe. Well, I'll share pictures and more. Well, share pictures and more. Behind us, there are millions and millions of ordinary men and women who are expecting us to do our duty. There should be in this country a Labour government carrying out Labour's full policy. Our legislation will provide, therefore, that by the end of 1975, it will at last be illegal to discriminate against women in rates of pay. We want a society of free men and women, free from poverty, free from fear, a society free from gross inequalities. We weren't born with liberty, we had to win it. children all together, six boys, four girls, although four of them died in infancy. <clears throat> and Iron Bevan attended Sahawi Elementary School where he achieved little. He developed a, a severe stammer as a child. After Labour's landslide election victory of 1945, following World War II, he was appointed Minister for Health introducing Revolutionary National Insurance Act in 1946, followed by the National Health Service two years later. At first, the concept of National Health Service free at the point of use met considerable opposition. When the British Medical Association questioned doctors in 1948, 88% were opposed to the idea, concerned that they would lose their independence. However, Bevan was able to win them round by July 1948, 90% of doctors had joined up and the NHS took over hostels throughout the country. Family doctors were also provided across the nation. But Bevan resigned in 1951, apparently over charges introduced for false teeth and spectacles, although the real catalyst was believed to be this, his opposition to the government's defence and foreign policy. Remaining an active figure on the po political scene, Bevan later became a shadow foreign secretary and deputy leader of the Labour Party before dying from cancer in July 1960. <coughs> His death shocked the nation, especially those in Wales, whose li lives had been transformed by the creation of the NHS. Bevan is commemorated by a statue in Cardiff City Centre and hospital bearing his name will be open shortly in Ebervale. Well,